what is up my loves we are back and ready for another video and yeah you guys this is my recent drawing that i did which is now posted on my instagram which you guys should totally check out follow me at raw sushi on instagram you guys and yeah um i'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about this piece first um you know i was just scrolling on instagram and i wanted to get in i mean not instagram pinterest excuse me pinterest you know because that's where i get inspired by a lot and I needed some inspiration, so I decided to go to my model reference board, and I found a picture that inspired me, and I was like, you know what? I'm ready to draw this. Let's do this. Let's do the thing. And yeah, let's get it popping. Let's get it shit popping, and let's do this. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to sketch this out with my Prismacolor Cola Race pencil. I'm going to ink it, and I'm going to do this both traditionally and digitally. Now, here's the thing. I tried to do it traditionally at first, I started running out of a Copic markers and it turned into a big mess. And so I was like, you know what? I'm not giving up here. You know what? I'm just going to do this digitally and we're just going to go for it. And it's going to be a whole lot better than it would be if it was traditionally anyways. So I decided to take my time, you know, put some practice in and get to coloring on Photoshop. So let me give you guys a little bit of um, how I go through the process of this and how I do this. So first I will take a picture of my... Um, drawing whatever it doesn't have to be inked but in this case it was and I just you know took the picture that I already took from my Instagram and sent it to my email exported it put it into Photoshop and I put it on I use different layers to start coloring but the first thing that I do is I would get another layer and set it to multiply and then I would start to color and that would you know color right through the line so you can still see this the lines at first and now you can color like that and you know um, not have to go you make other other layers and color on top but that's what I like to do I decided to you know I'm going to go all the way with this I'm going to do it the hard way which is creating new layers and continuing to paint over it and when I once I make those new layers I will make sure I blend blend and blend I use that color picker and I blend that ish you know what I'm saying I blend it I blend it I do it until I'm satisfied you know what I'm saying and this is a very very long process but if you want good results you got to take your time you know so what I what I do is I just make sure I look at the colors from the picture if you want to you could get the picture the, the picture reference and use the color picker and actually take the colors from that yeah it it's not cheating you guys it's to help you learn how to have muscle memory of how colors work too but that's not what I do I just look at the colors and um, I used to do that, but sometimes I still do, you know, for not for this. Not, I didn't use it for this this picture in particular, but sometimes if you need to use the color picker from because that's what other artists do, too. They use the color picker to help them um, create that art piece. And that's perfectly fine. You know, it's um, it's definitely will help you learn how colors work and lighting and all that stuff you know what I'm saying and I still have a long way to go you guys I'm trying to figure out an easier way how to do digital portraits because this way took me about five or more hours but I feel like it was longer to be honest but when I looked at the video recording I noticed it was um, about five hours of footage but I'm gonna say I it took me like six or seven since I did have the I didn't record this all the way through that's what I'm gonna explain next um, I did not finish recording this all the way through because the recorder was slowing down my computer and we cannot have that. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I, I, at least I recorded an, enough for you guys to see the process of everything and, you know, how everything went. So, yeah, I really hope that this video was of enjoyment to you guys. And I just want to, you know, talk a little bit about things and what's going on, too. Um, I just have so many things that I want to do with this channel. I know that this channel is solely an art channel, but you know, you guys know that... I'm a girl of many um, interests and I love to do like makeup and a lot of other stuff and I know I haven't done it yet but I will slowly be transitioning this channel and combining different videos so please please support me with that you guys because I know I've heard a lot of you say please make a separate channel and just keep this your art channel but nah man that's that's too much work you know I'm trying to keep you know everything in one you know system because you know the, ch the channel name is Christina Loray so it's basically my lifestyle channel you know it's not Christina's art or art with Christina it's Christina Loray so this is my life channel you know that I want to want to make it I want to share with you guys everything and, and and share with you guys positivity and all that stuff and I know I repeat this stuff repeatedly 
and I can't wait to share with you guys all the different things that I want to share with you all so I just want to say thank you for supporting me thank you for being my raw gang raw lovers like I love you guys so much and thank you so much for supporting me being a follower of me and yeah you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys on my next video so I love you all so much peace and love and God bless you all